because we are hanging out in New York City. Um, we went to Rockefeller Center, we went to Times Square, um, and just kind of hung around in Manhattan, and it was a lot of fun. It was overwhelming, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. The kids got to just be around all the big lights and things. It's always difficult because it's freezing okay in between all these buildings it is super cold and you know the kids are always like my hands are freezing my face is freezing but they did well overall we all did well overall so i just wanted to pop in and chit chat with you guys for a little bit and answer one question that i'm getting that i want to make sure i clear up um share a little bit of our little trip with you guys and um, show you what we bring along when we are out um, away from home for homeschool. Now it is still our winter break, um, but I mentioned this before that it's hard to kind of quantify the amount of time we spend on homeschool because I just want to create that environment where we're always learning. Um, so even though we're in winter break, we still make sure we are sharp on our skills and practice things in everyday life. And so there is no schedule. There is no we have to do this or we have to do that. We just bring some things along and we try our best to just kind of brush up our skills and have fun with what we have learned in the past and what we are currently learning and what we're going to learn in the future, if that makes any sense. So the kids are hanging out on their iPads a little bit next to me in their little studio space, part of our tiny New York City um, hotel. But they're giving me a little bit of time to chit chat with you guys, so I'm super grateful for their good behavior right now. <laughs> Anyway, um, what was I saying? So, we launched Patreon, you guys, and I have been busy um, just kind of sorting out through holiday things um, and slowly getting into Patreon. Um, I'm so excited about that space, and I think that everybody that's over there is as well, which makes me so happy. I'm still trying to pace myself, though, um, because I, I don't want to do too much, and I feel like uh, being a homeschool mom, having the kids and being responsible for the kids 24 hours a day, um, it's just, you have to, we have to set those expectations um, a little differently than everybody else. And that's always one of the biggest struggles for me in business and in sharing is that uh, you want to be able to do things like you see other people possibly being able to do things like answer comments and emails and um just being as responsive as other people might be able to do but because we have the kids 24 hours a day it's just not possible so just learning how to properly set my expectations um, and communicate my expectations to those of you that I'm sharing with is a challenge for me because I want to say yes to everything but you can't say yes to everything and I think people uh, or other homeschool moms appreciate when you don't say yes to everything but it's a learning process you know what I mean so I've been learning I've been learning, just really trying to um, gather my thoughts on how to properly set expectations so I can provide quality um, community and, um, and uh, content, really. So anyway, I'm so super grateful for those of you that have signed up already and those of you that are even considering signing up or even if you're not going to be signing up but you just are over there cheering us on, that makes me so happy as well. Our first goal was 50 patrons and we're at 40 patrons already and I'm so excited. I'm, I'm particularly excited because um, when the numbers are so quote unquote small, which I think 40 people is a ton of people. but to others that might seem small but I feel like this is the best opportunity um, for me to be able to share like I probably won't be able to share quite as well in the future you know what I'm trying to say I don't know the beginning is just always a really special time like the beginning of YouTube when I first got like my first subscriber um, and then as you grow it just becomes a little bit more difficult so which is fine you adjust and move along but it's just really nice to have those beginning times so um, that's how I feel about patron right now but I did want to answer a question so for my patrons I just finished 
loading all of the printables um, that I'm starting with onto your password protected site so that you can go in and take a look at what I have and download them all and print them all out. I'm going to slowly be covering how we use them in our homeschool and um, yeah, I'm just going to share all of that information um, starting in January, probably a little bit before so that I can you know so we can kind of make a little bit more of a plan for when January starts but um, that is all available and I'm sending out that email by the time this video is up that email has already been sent to you so that's really exciting because I was working really hard on getting that stuff loaded properly so the question basically is am I leaving YouTube am I going to still be posting on YouTube now that I have launched the patreon space and I'm so excited and a lot of things are going to be geared towards my patrons. Yes, that is true. A lot of things are going to be geared towards my um, actual patrons. Um, but no, I am not leaving YouTube. It is not going to change the way I share on YouTube. The whole uh, goal or purpose in having the Patreon space is to have a community of people who truly support um, in more ways than just cheering on. That is the goal of Patreon, a space where um, I can really just focus in on um, providing what is needed there, but still give me space to be creative in my YouTube space. And I think that probably didn't even make sense, but let me try to reel it back in. <laughs> when you're on YouTube, you're open to the whole entire world. I was having trouble figuring out which voices to listen to. If you have someone who has been here since day one that keeps asking for a video on um, your morning routine, but you keep listening to all the people who just showed up yesterday about um, wanting a different type of video, and you end up making all those different type of videos not realizing that the person that's been there since day one that keeps asking for this morning routine is never getting the morning routine um, and that is what I was kind of having trouble with also as I grow in YouTube and do more creative things I want to make sure that I'm still covering or not abandoning what people initially were here for in the first place so if my planning videos are really really super valuable to you but I have been on a creative mode of doing more what I eat in a day or or any other creative thing that I'm working on that I want to showcase on YouTube I want to make sure I'm still providing the general content to those people that really 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 want to make sure that they have planning content and so patron gives me a space to be able to do that um, really nice and authentically so maybe you might have a question about planning but you don't need a super fancy video about it you know um, over at patron I would be able to just kind of show you just in the rawest way possible it's rawest a word I think it is <laughs> In the most authentic way as possible to be able to share whatever information or knowledge or you know just girlfriend vibes over there um, on Patreon and making sure that that is getting taken care of while still having the space to create on my YouTube channel if anything it's kind of like um, a lot of youtubers use brand deals and sponsorships which makes it possible for them to make YouTube more of an option for their families so they can post more and YouTube can be a full-time gig I would like for YouTube to be one of my full-time gigs yes yeah, I think so. But in the way that I want it to be and not the way that I feel like YouTube might dictate. So um, YouTube might be saying, hey, there's a flux of a whole bunch of people in the space and you need to be doing viral videos and you need to be doing um, mukbangs and whatever's trending. I don't want to have to listen to that voice. I want to be true to why I'm here in the first place is to be able to share to build community to create most of all to be creative and grow in my creativity with my babies and my family 
So um, I want to move forward in that and I don't want to get caught up in doing viral videos or whatever else is required to be able to grow in the space of YouTube. So I felt like this was a much more sustainable option to have a space over at Patreon where I'm making sure that I am answering the needs of the people that support me the most. I understand that you might not be in a position to join Patreon. I get that. You don't have to be month to month all the time. Sometimes you can come along if there's just something I'm sharing for a particular month that is, you know, that is particularly valuable to you and then you know, you don't have to continue to support, but there are options and you can continue to support if you feel like what I'm sharing um, or being part of my little community here is valuable to you, you can continue to support over there. So I like that there are options there. Um, so having patron is absolutely not gonna mean that I am leaving YouTube. My patron support makes it possible for me to be more frequent on YouTube. I've been spending my December doing holiday things and also planning and preparing for an awesomely consistent 2019. So if you want to join the Patreon fam, now would be a great time. You can choose your options. The tiers are from a $1 tier all the way up to a $10 tier. And then you can also make a custom pledge if you want to. It doesn't have to be a consistent custom pledge. You can change and adjust it um, each month based on what is fitting you the best. If you think you might get tired of me talking about my patrons in my videos, then you might as well consider finding <laughs> someone else to watch on YouTube because there's so many awesome people out there for you to watch and follow. But over here in this space, in this Falco family space, our Falco family patrons are gonna be priority around here and I'm super grateful for them because they are showing me how supportive they are by participating in our little new community and I am excited. So that was a long answer and the short answer is absolutely not. I am not leaving YouTube, but I have to make wise decisions and I thought that Patron was a wise decision on how to build um, our little Falco family brand um, the way that I feel like the Lord is leading me to. I'm going to say super thanks to my patrons in every video. <laughs> They're going to be the reason why I get to continue to do this in the way that I believe best fits us without having to be bombarded by... And when I say bombarded by sponsorships and things, I have no problem with sponsorships as long as they're authentic. Even if they're not authentic, I still don't have a problem with sponsorships because people have to choose what's best for them and what works best for them. Um, I am not opposed to sponsored posts and ads. I just want to be able to choose. Um, and I don't want to have to be so um, conflicted if I'm trying to provide or help in providing for our family and I have to choose between turning down a $500 deal or a $300 deal or a $500 deal or whatever the amount may be. Y'all know sometimes that is hard to say no and I have. I have said no to quite a bit of work which, which a lot of times feels unwise when you need to cover bills and you have other expenses. Not to mention this is a whole thing for me um, just doing pre-planning for their future. Um, I need to be able to save, which I have another video about that as well, budgeting in homeschool and saving for their future. If they do choose to go to college, that's like a whole nother thing that I want to chit chat about. But um, yeah, it's not wise uh, for me to not consider those things and to spend the amount of time that I'm spending sharing these videos. I mean, you may think, well, you don't share that much. Maybe you post a video or two every week or every other week. But you have to realize that in addition to what I'm doing here um, on YouTube, in order to sustain that, I do still have to take outside work. So I still have plenty of outside photo shoots and video um projects and other things that I take on along with my other businesses to be able to sustain this whole thing. Um, 
So my hope is that through Patreon and YouTube, I'm able to release some of the other outside work that I say yes to um, and trade it for the work over here on YouTube and Patreon. Um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Yeah, so like I said, I don't have a problem with sponsorships and ads. I just want to um, be able to still be in the position to say no to things I do not want to do and yes to things that I do want to do and that are a good fit. I really am looking forward to doing a lot more traveling with the kids in 2019 and so I want to share more of how I'm kind of making that transition into bringing our homeschool along with us which should be fairly easy um, so now I'm just going to share with you the things that I bought along on this particular trip to kind of help our days run a little smoothly again this is light work because um, we are on our winter break but I mean really homeschooling is so interwoven into the fabric of our days that we're really you know whether something is light or heavy really doesn't apply to us because we are really um, just trying to embody the whole love of learning right now in these years so I'm going to try to show um, the things that we're using and how we're using them but just keep that in mind there is no specific time we start and time we end but hopefully I'm able to kind of show you um, how that translates into our everyday okay so I just grabbed Cameron's book bag we are still on our holiday break so it's really not a big deal but this is just something that we practice so I thought I would share of course they have all three of their iPads if nothing else that we bring we always bring along the iPads because everything that we have to work on is accessible there then inside of the book bag this is all I bought it's really not that much their current quiet read aloud time books so I've got Savannah's Adventures of Sophie Mouse. She is on book 12, so she's pretty much done. Cameron is still working on the Wallstone Craft Detective Agency. And then we have Ronald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We are still working on this read aloud. We finished the first two books and we're on the last one. This one is Mommy's. She is working her way through Max Licato's Fearless again. This is a really, really good book, you guys. I brought along a picture book, Malala's Magic Pencil. Then I just grabbed these um, I had these lying around they were things that we used for um, summer camp I'll show you maybe more in depth in a future video like how I use workbooks um, in our homeschool it's not really the traditional way it's also how I use um, a lot of the good and the beautiful curriculum um, I've had people ask me if I'm still using it or how does it fit into our days and I said I was gonna do a video on how we actually fit it in because we don't always just sit down and work through the workbooks we more so take the content and pull it out and i was hoping to show you how i do that let me tell you really quickly how we use this instead of grabbing the workbook and just having them complete everything alone by themselves i found that the best way for me to do this and incorporate all three of them is um, to use the information and just try to get as creative as possible so I just want to give you a quick example of how I do that so they're talking about common and proper nouns um, we've done this quite a bit ago but I think it's always really really good for us just to kind of um, refresh and just see what they've retained and this is kind of how I do assessment and testing I have a whole set of printables that are going to be available to my patrons that show how I handle keeping records for assessments and things and that'll come in another video as well but um, as you can see common and proper nouns down here it says complete each sentence with a common noun or a proper noun in the box write C if you wrote a common noun write P if you wrote a proper noun. So what I'll do, because they're not filling out this worksheet um, by themselves, instead, um, I'll do this verbally. And we'll all sit down and kind of make a game out of it. So I'll use the sentence and I'll say, I threw the ball too. And then they have to give me, they have to fill in the blank and tell me if they're using a common or a proper noun. So one of them might say, okay, mommy, proper noun, Billy. Um, and so that's how we do that. So we'll go through these together. I hope that makes sense. 
um, how I would do this one over here, common and proper nouns, is the underlined part of each sentence correct, fill in the bubble next to the right answer. So say we start with number one, the 4th of July is my favorite holiday. Um, I just have them write out 4th of July and they need to write it correctly. Um, and I probably would just use one of their apps on their iPads for them to um, write out what it is. If they forget to capitalize something, we fix it. Um, but the goal is for them to write it out correctly. I think this makes it really easy and I grabbed these in particular because they were so thin and small. If I didn't bring these along, which a lot of times I don't, I just use our IXL or any other app that I have that'll help give me a little bit of guidance on things to kind of dictate to them and little games that we make up through the day. So this is what we do when we're out and about on the road traveling along. So I'm trying to get better at practicing these things because I want to do a lot more of traveling, especially now that they're getting a bit older. So this is what we do. And then the last thing that I have inside of here is I just stuff a bunch of um, supplies. <laughs> oh, and toothpaste. <laughs> I stuff a bunch of supplies, so a bunch of pencils, highlighters, and things like that. I am trying to practice not really bringing along the notebooks because it just brings extra things. So they can always take notes inside of their iPads, but I do try to bring highlighters and pencils because we can always find paper in the hotels or wherever we're going. So I think there's also an Expo marker and an eraser. Yeah, no real organization, rhyme or reason, just that they have a bunch of tools that they can use in case they need it. Um, I also bring <laughs> this along because just like we write on the windows in our house, I am not opposed to writing on the windows in the car. Now Brian, on the other hand, just might be, but I'm not. So if we are doing math in the car or something, we bring along an expo marker and have a little fun with it, wipe it off later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get out of here now. I think the kids had quite enough time to play on their iPads and now we're just gonna hang out, read a little bit, and to get ready to go out into the city again. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to my patrons. I love you guys so much. <laughs> and like I said, um, the printables are loaded for you now and I'm excited to share more over there. Oh, there was another thing I wanted to mention. I think that I got the question about whether or not I was leaving YouTube because I've been talking about it so much on my Instagram and also showing that um, I've made posts available to my patrons. So one of the perks of patron is that my patrons get to see my videos they have early access to my videos so they get to see them first um, and then I will post the video make it live to my YouTube fam um, a few days later that just gives my patrons time to watch the video and ask any questions that they have and then I make sure I adjust and add any information to the description box answering their questions specifically but you guys you still get the same content just in a different way but I hope you guys like this video I just wanted to pop in and say hello from New York. <laughs> Let me know if you guys travel with your family often. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.